Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install DocPeak on Dockage. So I'm going to be going over it step by step, and at the end of this tutorial, you should have it fully up and running. Um, so a little bit about this series is I'm going to go over home labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So this is what I'll be installing today, a doc peak. Um, it makes it to where you can have a simple dashboard showing do Docker ports and clickable links. Um, it, it also shows you when a Docker image ha has an update as well. Um, this is the UI for it. So your cont uh, containers, uh, your server, uh, your ports, and then the images, and then the status if it stopped or running. You can search up here, and you can see update available. Uh, if you want to, uh, you can to uh, toggle it right here, and you can check for updates. So this is what I'll be installing today on Dockage. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets, and there will be a link down YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over the search and type Dock Peak. Now, uh, it'll be the one with Dockage and then Dock Peak right here. So I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to go into Docker and Post. So a, a version three of Docker Post file formats being used. I must uh, set some services, and the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Docker uh, Doc Peak. Um, then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Doc Peak. The image right here and the uh, the registry is coming off of a GitHub it's because of the ghcr.io right here. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then the container restart policy uh, is set to unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And, and then we're going to have to mount our uh, a doc, uh, docker.sock right here. So it has access to, uh, to the Docker engine. Um, and it's able to, uh, to manage it, uh, the Docker. Um, so the environment variables, a secret key. And you can set one right here. Uh, the username and the password and then now the port mapping so on the host side is 3420 and then on the container side is 8000 um, if this does collide with another port on your host you can change it you can ch uh, change the left don't change the right um, so I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file I'm gonna click it and then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. Hello, I just wanted to pop in here real quick and tell you how much I appreciate all my subscribers and also you watching this video. So um, it takes a lot of time to make all these videos and also maintaining all the open source projects that go along with all these videos. So um, like Big Bear Cost OS, Big Bear Video Assets, Big Bear Scripts, they all take almost daily maintenance. So um, if you would, please consider donating. Very much appreciate it. And it helps me continue to be able to help as many people as possible be able to do all this. So I, uh, my goals in each one of these videos and each one of the things that I make is to make it extremely easy for anybody to do it. And uh, it takes a lot of time to make that ha happen. So um, if you would, please consider donating. Uh, and also you can join the Big Bear Club and continue to, uh, donating. So um, thank you very much, and let's get back to your vi video. So now I'm on my dockage, and I'm going to go over here to Compose, and stack name is Doc Peak, And then I'm going to come over here to the editor and paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. Now we can go ahead and knock out this version right here since it is deprecated. Um, so you can also edit it in the UI. You can come down here to the environment variables and you can set a secret key. You can say your username and your password. I'm going to go with the defaults. So now we should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy it. And what that done is it downloaded the Docker engine directory, got extracted, and got it up with Docker uh, engine underneath. So now that should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this port right here to go to the UI and see if it's working. So it is working, so we can go ahead and log in. 
I'm going to just say a big bear. And then um, it was dockage. Now we are logged in. So that's how to get it installed on dockage. So now I'm going to start on the homepage of dockage and go over the UI a little bit. So active, exit, and inactive, uh, that's the status of the stacks. So I have two active stacks. You, you can come over here and you can click the stack. So now you see the actions up here. So edit, restart, update. This updates the current tag. It doesn't change the tag. Stop and then stop and inactive and then delete button. Uh, you can completely delete the stack. You can see the start services in, in the stack. So you can see the host ports. You can see the Docker image that, that this is using and the do a Docker uh, tag, uh, the Docker image tag. And now if you go in here, you can go to the bash and you can so go inside the container. You can also switch to SH. Um, I'm going to go back in the stack. So you can see a console log down here. This is great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker and Pose. You can also go up here to edit and click it. And now we have actions up here. So deploy, save the changes, stop and inactive, and then discard the changes. You can come down here to the input box. And you can just add a service underneath the services. And you can add an image. Um, so we did things from the UI over here and you can see it over here in the editor. It changed it so you can uh, 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 edit vice versa. Uh, environment variables, networks, internal and external and URLs down here. So if we wanted to delete the service, we can just delete it right here and it's gone from the editor. So I'm going to discard the changes. So that's a little bit about the docket UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So I'm going to click the port right here, the, the host port, and go to it. So now you can search the cont containers right here. So just go to Dozzle, and now, and now you see it. Um, this doesn't seem to work that great. So it says all containers are up to date, and I know Dozzle is not up to date. So um, if there was updates, you can uh, click this toggle right here and you can see all the uh, ones that need updating. Um, you can go ahead and refresh the data up here if it's not refreshed already. You can switch the themes. You can uh, uh, go from dark to, uh, to light and then back to dark. Um, you can log out completely right here. Um, you can go to the UI right here as well by, by just clicking the port. Um, you can also uh, go, uh, go to Dozzle from here. Um, so that's a little bit about DocPeak. So I just showed you step by step on getting DocPeak running on your dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video sessions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. Uh, there's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.